my name is Ellie and I'm going to show you how to make a simple ladder bracelet. Most people say the other, other way of making a ladder bracelet is quite simple but I find it quite tricky so basically I tried to make up my own version and I succeeded. It's kind of like the infinity but it's a ladder instead. It will end up looking like that. Um, I forgot to add an extension so it's kind of small for me. <laughs> to make this you need um, two hooks. They can be hooks like this, metal hooks, hooks like this which aren't really very strong. Um, you need a board. It doesn't really matter if it's strong or weak or anything because it, there isn't really a lot of tension on it um, and you obviously need a few loom bands um, I don't mean few meaning the three I mean few meaning quite a few um, so you need to start off I'm just using greens or anything from this sort of area you need to start off with your arrows facing away from you I don't have any arrows, so I just sort of say with the arrow of your loom facing you to start off with, like that. And then one there and one there. Then you need to take another one and go one there to one there. And then you need to go another one there. And there, so that it should look like that when you've got three three bands, <laughs> and then you just keep going up and up and up. Um, and when you get to about sort of here so when you get the second to last peg so that one instead of keeping going up instead of keeping going there you need to go diagonally inwards like that and then you need to do it again for the other side Um, again, once you get to about there, you loom, you put that one on, you get your last one here, and go like that. So this is how your loom should look at the moment. Okay. Now you need to get your other colour. For mine, it will be purple. Just so, because it, I know it doesn't go, but it, it's quite clear against green. And you start from here, there. Just keep going up. Like. And then just you need to do you do need to keep going to the end, but it's easier to see somebody carry on doing it because you don't quite know sometimes where the end will be. Anyway, the end for this one will be here. So a peg away from where you turn diagonally. There. And then you need to get um, another colour. Well, you don't necessarily need to get another colour, but you need to get another band. And you, uh, you need to make it your capping band. So, what you've got to do, Wait. fold it around. Um, 
um, you just need to take a figure of eight and do that so it's wrapped around twice. Um, and then you get it and you put it there. Okay, then you need one hook. Then you, so it will look like this. And then you need to get one, one of your hooks. I'm using a nice strong one. And then you need to go right down to the, to the very bottom, pull in. So you need to go and get basically the bottom band. So pull all of them back. Turn your, turn your hook around. Bring it up. And put it there. You go back behind the capping band again. Turn your hook. Go behind the cap band. What I do, I try and pull it down a bit. So behind the cap band. Along there. And do that. And then you need to go all the way down doing the basic looming, looming that comes with all of, um, you need to just keep going all the way down the loom. Like that. Make sure that none of your bands do snap, but if they do snap, then it's easy to replace them. Just find out where they need to go and what needs to go above or below, and then put things onto their hook where they need to be, and then put it back on the pegs and fix it all up. I know that very well because mine did just break a moment ago. When you when you're picking something up, make sure you don't accidentally pick up this one and take that forward because it might not work out very well. Okay, so, when you get to there, you need to bring up that one and do it diagonally instead of even going <coughs> straight, instead of just stopping. Um, so this is how your loom should look at the moment. Um, then you need to come that back down here and take this one and bring it all the way forward and over that one and this one hey you know I think I might have just created an instrument and do this again and along and so basically, just keep doing that. Um, so this is how your loom should look at the moment. And this at the moment is how it should look. It's last few moments on the loom. As the loom must be saying, parting is such sweet sorrow. It's weird. Anyway, so take this all the way to the strong part and wiggle it to. If you own one of these hooks, in one of the yellow hooks, 
or multicolored. Yeah, or multicolored. Even though they can come in different colors. Um, then make sure it's on this part because I might go so far as saying it's the most flexible part. But yeah, so if you use your fingers when it starts to get about halfway down the loom, like that. And, and uh, that's an empty loom and your very own simple. There you go. Now if, because it will come like that, sort of pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, like so. And then, like I said, like I said, can, you can sort of use it as a pencil grip. You don't mind flappy parts everywhere. So if you have a blister or something, it's a nice, comfy pencil grip. See? Only that was a hook, not a pencil, so I have never actually tried it on a pencil. There you go. And also, when you finished it, Ideally, don't break it. <laughs> um, if you do break it, just hold the broken thing. Put it back on your hook. Pull it off. And put another one in. And to add an extension to it, which you will need to do, just... Put it on your fingers like you would like that, okay? And then just start adding so that it'll be a normal bracelet until it's the right size. When it is the right size, add an S clip on there. And you're done. And you're done. Well done. If you survived that far, I give you a clap. And if you love what you see, then please give this video a huge thumbs up.